My name is Danielle Slayton, and I played for the U.S. Women's National Team from 2000 to 2005. I grew up playing soccer in San Jose, in the Bay Area. I was a defender, and so I played left back and center back. To get the call up was a special moment, but it was also like really, really nerve wracking because when you think back to 99 and the success of the 1999 World Cup, having it here on home soil, like those women were posters on my wall. And then all of a sudden, oh my goodness, I have to actually go defend them in real life and play with them in real life. And that was awesome slash terrifying. <laughs> but I'll never forget the first ever camp that I went to. Carla Overbeck, the captain of the national team at the time, she pulled me aside and she just said to me, she's like, look, I know it's hard, it's your first camp, but you just remind yourself that you deserve to be here. You're here for a reason, so just settle in a little bit and just calm down and just play. And I don't know if she'll ever remember that comment, but I'll never forget it the rest of my life. And I'll be forever grateful for her. When I think about the direction that women's soccer is heading, you look at the names and the faces, you look at the, the players who are coming up now and the impact and the reach they have, not only in the game, but also beyond with their brands and what they're doing beyond the game. And I think, man, the sky is the limit. When I think about what makes me proud, playing with the women's national team, I mean, obviously you think about the big events, right? You think about Olympics and World Cups and, and there's kind of these, these tent pole moments. But when I think about what I'm most proud of, I actually am most proud of learning how to not be a soccer player anymore because I had had a career ending knee injury that just, it was just too much to, to overcome. And so figuring out like how to transition out of the game was certainly a challenge for me. It took a long time, but eventually I found my way back in my love for the game again. And that's how I got into television. That's how I got to be part of this new Bay FC NWSL franchise. And so for me, figuring out my road back to having soccer as a part of my life, not just as an elite athlete, is something I think that I'm most proud of and something that is the longest lasting and I can take with me my entire life.